The University of Oklahoma Libraries produced this tutorial in collaboration with the Office of the Senior Vice President and Provost, the Department of Math, and the Integrity Council. This tutorial will identify academic integrity, academic misconduct, and the Academic Integrity Code. It will identify the types of academic misconduct with examples and describe possible penalties for violating the Academic Integrity Code. What is academic integrity? Academic integrity means honesty and responsibility in scholarship. Academic assignments exist to help students learn. Grades exist to show how fully this goal is attained. Therefore, all work and all grades should result from the student's own understanding and effort. What is academic misconduct? Academic misconduct is any action that a student knows will lead to the improper evaluation of academic work. Basically, academic misconduct misleads instructors, so the student receives a grade that is undeserved. Academic misconduct also violates the mutual trust that should exist between professor and student. The student expects to be graded fairly, and the professor expects that the student will work honestly. What is the Academic Integrity Code? The Academic Integrity Code upholds the rules and procedures for determining what constitutes academic misconduct during activities such as coursework or enrollment. The code is governed by the Academic Integrity Council. How does OU support academic integrity? Since 2011, the Academic Integrity Code has given students major responsibility for the OU community's academic integrity system. The responsible student organization is the Integrity Council. Its official duties include chairing academic misconduct hearings, conducting investigations for reported acts of academic misconduct, reviewing actual academic misconduct cases, and recommending sanctions, and serving as peer educators in integrity training for students who have violated the Academic Integrity Code. The Office of Academic Integrity Programs, or OAIP, supports and advises the Integrity Council. The main functions of this office are to promote academic integrity on campus, manage the academic misconduct system, and advise the Integrity Council. Why does OU care about academic misconduct? Since the establishment of the university in 1890, OU has worked to build a reputation that students, faculty and staff, the administration, and alumni can be proud of. It is the value of the OU degree that provides OU students the best internships, jobs, and graduate school opportunities. It takes only a minute to destroy a reputation of integrity. Students must understand the importance of integrity, both personally and professionally. Common types of academic misconduct are cheating and the use of unauthorized materials on exams and assignments, improper collaboration, submitting the same assignment for different classes, the fabrication, forgery, alteration of documentation, lying, etc., in order to obtain academic advantage, assisting others in academic misconduct, attempting to commit academic misconduct, destruction of property, hacking, etc., intimidation or interference of the integrity process, and plagiarism. Cheating and unauthorized materials on exams and assignments. Unless the professor specifies otherwise, all exams and assignments are to be completed by the student without inappropriate assistance of any kind. This means that the work you turn in will be work you've done yourself without help from other persons, books, notes, cell phones, calculators with pre-programmed information, or other materials or devices of any kind. For example, during a math exam, approved calculators may not contain pre-programmed formulas or answers. Improper collaboration. Many classes emphasize working with a partner or in groups. Permission from the professor to work together on a homework assignment, project, or paper is not permission to violate the rules of integrity by simply getting the answers from someone else or presenting another student's work as your own. An example of this in a biology lab can be having a friend or lab partner conduct the experiment and submitting his or her data in your lab report. Or, when a tutor gives you the answer without showing you how they came up with the answer. Unless the professor specifies otherwise, 
it is assumed that all work submitted for a grade will be the product of the student's own understanding and be expressed in the student's own words, calculations, computer code, etc. When a student's work is identical or very similar to someone else's at points where individual variations in expression would be expected, it is reasonable for the professor to conclude that academic misconduct has occurred. Submitting the same assignment for different classes. Submitting the same assignment for a second class, even if it's the same class you are retaking, violates the assumption that every assignment advances a student's learning and growth. Unless the second instructor expressly allows it, submitting an assignment already submitted for another class is a form of academic misconduct. This is also known as self-plagiarism or recycling work. It is considered academic misconduct to fabricate, forge, alter documentation, lie, etc. in order to obtain an academic advantage. For example, in a chemistry lab that requires you to run an experiment more than once, academic misconduct occurs when you complete one run of the experiment and then invent data for the others based on the first. Or, if your professor requires that you attend a tutoring session for a grade, but you misrepresent the duration of your attendance by signing in, leaving, then returning later to sign out. All of these actions destroy the institution's integrity and eat away at the expectation of mutual trust among all members of the academic community. Assisting others in academic misconduct. Helping someone else cheat, for example, by actually doing their work for them, is itself an academic integrity code violation. So is providing someone with a paper or homework or any other form of help where you know, or reasonably should know, that the other student will use it to cheat. Using camera phones, text messages, photocopies, notes, or other means to reproduce materials used or intended for tests, quizzes, or homework assignments with your classmates is considered academic misconduct. Academic misconduct also occurs when you sign the attendance sheet for one of your classmates who decided not to attend that class session. Attempting to commit academic misconduct. Trying to cheat is academic misconduct, even if the attempt is discovered before it is completed. For example, possession of unauthorized notes during a test is academic misconduct, even if you have not yet used the notes. Asking others for help in cheating is academic misconduct, even if nobody responds and no cheating ultimately occurs. Destruction of property, hacking, etc. It is considered academic misconduct to steal or destroy other students' work if the action will foreseeably lead to an academic advantage for yourself. The same is true for gaining unauthorized access to faculty offices, email accounts, or course management services in order to alter grades, access examinations, or otherwise gain improper academic advantage. Student code violations may also apply to such conduct. Intimidation or interference of the integrity process. Interfering with the proper functioning of the academic integrity code is also a violation of the code. For example, it is a violation to threaten or bribe someone to prevent that person from reporting misconduct or testifying in a hearing. It is also a violation to interfere with an integrity council investigation or lie to an investigator or other official. Student code violations may also apply to such conduct. Once the investigation is over, retaliation against someone for reporting misconduct or participating in an investigation or hearing will ordinarily be addressed through the student code. Plagiarism. Plagiarism occurs when you use another's words, ideas, materials, or work without properly acknowledging and documenting the source. OU's basic assumption is that all assignments show the student's own understanding in the student's own words. Students who commit plagiarism do not give credit to the original source. Most academic misconduct guides focus on the plagiarism of written works, but you could also plagiarize computer code, mathematical expressions, lab reports, etc. 
Plagiarism is the most common form of academic misconduct at OU, and is explained in more detail in the Academic Integrity Avoiding Plagiarism tutorial. Academic Misconduct in Online Courses Online tests, quizzes, or assignments are subject to the same standards of integrity that apply in regular classroom assignments. Unless specifically permitted by the instructor, it is a violation of the Academic Integrity Code to copy from others or from outside sources on any online quiz, homework, or test. Like we state before, your coursework must be done by yourself, in your own words, and without outside assistance. When a student's work is identical or very similar to someone else's at points where individual variations in expression would be expected, it is reasonable for the professor to conclude that academic misconduct has occurred. Quiz 2. How can students report academic misconduct? Integrity matters to everyone, so OU's academic integrity system lets anyone, not just professors, report cheating. Anyone with a concern about cheating can contact the Integrity Council via its website, ou.edu integrity. Once a possible violation is discovered, a report should ordinarily be filed within 15 class days of discovering the academic misconduct. What are the penalties for academic misconduct? Penalties for academic misconduct will vary according to the severity of the offense. For less serious offenses, the professor may give the student an admonition or warning. In most cases, this will result in a grade of zero on the assignment. Admonitions do not result in institutional penalties like suspension or expulsion. They are not reportable outside the university as an act of misconduct. A student who receives an admonition has the right to contest it in a formal hearing. For more serious offenses, the professor must report a violation of the Academic Integrity Code. A student reported for violating the Academic Integrity Code has the right to a formal hearing. A student reported and found responsible receives a grade penalty and an institutional penalty. The grade penalty may be up to an F in the course. In order of severity, institutional penalties cover the following range. Censure, which is a formal reprimand not noted on the student's transcript, completion of remedial activities such as online tutorials and one-credit-hour courses, suspension, which is the loss of student status for one or more semesters plus notation of the suspension on the transcript, expulsion, the permanent loss of student status. Quiz 3. Thank you for completing this tutorial of academic integrity in STEM courses. Please direct questions and comments regarding this tutorial to OU Libraries Student Success and Engagement Librarian Megan.Bednar at OU.edu. For further information on academic integrity, please contact the Office of Academic Integrity, Integrity at OU.edu. For STEM academic support centers, please visit Math Center, OU.edu slash cast slash math center, College of Engineering Williams Student Services Center, ou.edu slash coe slash academic slash student support, UC Action Tutoring Sessions, ou.edu slash university call slash about slash action underscore tutoring.